Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabello with your morning digital news brief for Saturday, March 26th. An undercover Philadelphia police officer is out of the hospital today after his car is hit by a bullet. The shooting happened early this morning at 58th Street and Lindbergh Boulevard in southwest Philadelphia. The officer was not hit, but he was treated for injuries to his face from shattered glass. A shooting sends one person to the hospital in northeast Philadelphia. This shooting happened just after 1230 this morning at Roosevelt Boulevard and F Street in Olney. We're now working to confirm what led to this shooting and the victim's condition. And Villanova University has another watch party later tonight. Students, of course, will gather in front of those big screens on campus to watch the Wildcats take on the University of Houston in the Elite Eight. Tip-off time is 6.09 tonight. Now for the eyewitness weather forecast, here's meteorologist Tammy Sousa. Hi, Tammy. Well, hello, Jan. Happy Saturday. Yeah, happy Saturday to you. It's a good day, yeah. even though the weather is not necessarily yeah. playing its part. <laughs> it's a good day to watch basketball exactly. indoors. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look at what we're tracking and what is ahead. A shower or a thunderstorm today, not a total washout. These will be spotty in nature. Any thunderstorm could produce a little bit of hail, small hail or grapple, maybe a brief wind gust coming out of it. It'll be much colder by the time we get into tomorrow. Yeah, winter is going to pay us a revisit. And it will be downright cold and windy. It'll just feel very raw on Monday. You need the big coat there. And March is going to end on a wet note. Wednesday and Thursday, we have a chance of showers, especially Thursday, the last day of March. Here's what's going on. We have this big pool of very cold Arctic air that's sitting just to the west of us. Well, winter gets its revenge. It slides in our direction tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday. The winds come out of the northwest and we are 10 to 20 degrees below average. We are mild today in the 50s, just a little below average. Here comes the first front through today, triggers a shower or a storm. Then we're chilly as we head into tomorrow, but a punch of reinforcing cold air comes through here tomorrow night, leaving us with that brief Arctic blast on our Monday and Tuesday. Here is the storm system swirling around the Midwest. Ahead of it, we'll see those spotty showers, an isolated storm. There's enough cold air being pulled in with this to create the instability for a storm. So we're just going to keep a close eye on that. Rolling through the morning, we'll see a shower perhaps down the shore, even an isolated thunderstorm denoted by these shades of yellow. Then just widely scattered showers this afternoon. The pink that would be a little bit of mix, maybe a little bit of rain and snow, a little bit of uh, snow shower activity up into the Poconos, not expecting accumulations. By 7.30 this evening, that starts to quiet down. And then we start out fairly clear for your Sunday. Could get an instability snow shower coming off of the Great Lakes, just like a, a long fetch of some snow showers. Clouds will increase. These are fair weather clouds in the afternoon. We go into Monday, we start clear. But again, clouds will be on the increase, maybe an instability snow shower in the Poconos. So for today, 54 in Philadelphia, an isolated shower or storm down the shore, some spotty showers and 55 getting into the Poconos. We could see a rain or a snow shower and only 47. Tonight, 35, we'll see a shower perhaps early and then we'll be mostly cloudy, clearing out toward dawn. Just cold tomorrow, 47, but it feels like 40 and it'll be windy out there and raw. We will see that mix of sun and clouds. It will be very cold on Monday. Do not be deceived. You think 39, not so cold. The morning will start out in the 20s. The wind will make this feel like the 30s. It is going to be a raw day, big coat day. Then we gradually stair step upward. Sunshine and 47 Tuesday. Closer to normal Wednesday. Maybe a little rain snow mix really early in the morning. And then we see just a mix of sun and clouds as the temperatures climb. Then we end the week with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. This is the last day, Thursday of March. April starts just as warm. Could see an early morning shower there. Jan? At least those times are moving in the right direction yeah. after Monday. All right, Tammy, thank you. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBSPhilly.com. I'm Jan Carabello. Have a great day.